everybody, Educator Emily here, and if you guys follow us on social media, you might have seen that our social media theme for November is defense and offense in the natural world. Animal defenses are super crucial, and depending on the individual animal or the individual species, can be highly specialized. And that's incredibly important because those defenses often help to keep the animal alive. Some of these defenses include living in herds, being poisonous, or being brightly colored, as well as a bunch of different other ones. Now, when we think of animal offenses, we tend to think of predators. Their offenses like speed, claws, and hunting in groups are some of those adaptations that help them to catch prey. So why doesn't the prey just out-evolve the predator and then for the prey the problem is essentially solved, right? The neat thing about many predator-prey interactions is that the species are co-evolving together. The prey species will evolve ways to continue to allow it to evade the predator whereas the predator will evolve counter adaptations that will continue to allow it to catch the prey. The constant battle for survival between two species is what biologists call an evolutionary arms race, and that is the topic of our video today. Essentially, in an evolutionary arms race, two species are simultaneously evolving adaptations and counter adaptations to one another. This is seen in many predator-prey species, as the prey will continue to evolve ways to outsmart, or confuse, or outmaneuver the predator, whereas the predator has to continue to evolve ways to catch the prey. One of the places where this dramatic battle has played out for millions of years is on the open savannas of Africa, between the predators of lions and cheetahs, and their prey of zebras and impala, respectively. Very rarely will lions hunt impala. Impala are much too fast for lions, and rarely will cheetahs try and hunt zebra. Zebra are much too large for a cheetah to take down. But regardless of whether or not you're a lion hunting a zebra, or a cheetah hunting an impala, researchers at the Structure and Motion Lab at the University of London found that the predators are stronger, faster, and just as agile as their prey. So why on earth do 66% of cheetah and lion hunts end in failure? Lions have evolved stealth, strength, and hunting in groups to maximize their chances of bringing down prey. Cheetahs, on the other hand, are very lilf and quick and fast ambush predators. And they're solitary as well. But despite these different hunting strategies between lions and cheetahs, their prey have evolved basically the same counter adaptation against both predators. Instead of running at full speed, their prey actually runs slightly slower. This initially seems counterintuitive. If your life is on the line and you're being chased by an animal with very sharp teeth and claws, wouldn't you want to run as fast as you possibly could? Well, it turns out that if you're running as fast as you can, your movements become predictable to the predator. However, if you are running just slow enough to stay just one or two steps ahead of those terrifying claws, it also allows you to make split second dodges to the side to escape the predator. This throws them off their track. This slower running, which allows for more last minute evasive maneuvers, is what accounts for such a high failure rate in African lions and cheetahs. If these animals were to run at full speed, their chances of being caught by the predator would be exponentially higher and we'd see a lot more successful hunts. So instead of running at full speed, where prey's movement would be predictable to the lion or the cheetah most of the time, and thus the cheetah or lion would end up being successful most of the time, by running just slightly slower so that they can have these last minute evasive maneuvers, impala and zebra are able to avoid being eaten 66% of the time. Now this isn't a huge flashy counter adaptation, right? These zebras aren't like turning around to face and fight these lions, right? They're just turning away at the last minute. It's not big, it's not fancy, it's not flashy, but it works. If predators are to have more successful hunts, they will have to evolve mechanisms and hunting strategies that allow them to cope with these last minute evasive maneuvers. Like many other evolutionary adaptations, this is not something that's going to just happen overnight. This is something that's going to take hundreds, if not thousands, if not millions of years. Now, if you don't already follow Zoo Montana on social media or subscribe to our YouTube channel, go ahead and do that right now. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram using the handles that you see on the screen. 
If you would like to learn more about this specific example of a predator-prey evolutionary arms race, there are some resources down in the caption. These resources also talk about other examples of an evolutionary arms race and species we did not talk about today. Bye, everybody.